will have our announcements on this community. We will continue celebrating our pastor's pre-pastoral anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. 
called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases, and torments, and the those which were possessed with the devil, with devils. And those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee, and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond Jordan. I'd like to go back, if you will, with me to verse 19. I said unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Look at somebody that's standing beside you or behind you or perhaps in front of you. Tell them these words. The call is being made. To come follow him. Tell it again. The call is being made. To come follow him. Oh my God. Now I hope that if you were talking to somebody that isn't saved, that you really put emphasis on that. So that they can really get an understanding that God is making a call. That they may come and follow. Yeah. And now as I began to think on the message for today, I began to think about how people are following all kinds of stuff. They're following people. You know, when you're on Facebook, you got followers. You got people that's following you. Amen. And everybody that's following you are not your friends. Amen. They say friends, but everybody that's following you are not your friends. Have y'all know that? Anybody in here know that yet? Yeah. 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 Some people follow you just to be uh, in your business. Oh yeah, I, 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 I found that out from different people that they go on people's pages searching so they can find out people's business because they know. So some people follow you because they are being known. And now they want to know what's going on in your life so they can take it and tell somebody about your business. Amen. So they follow you. Amen. On Instagram, you have followers. Amen. All kinds of that chat, whatever y'all have, y'all have followers. You have people that are following you. Everybody that's following you are not following you for the right reasons. Amen. But you do have some people that are following you and they following you with good intentions. Amen. There are some people that follow you and they share amen, some of the things that you have on your page. Amen. You might have a good saying in 
my page. I'm one of them my states. I'm one of them my states. Because if that's me, just read it with Genesis just did something to me. But I'm glad that somebody sent it so I can see the foolishness. You understand? And know what somebody is putting out there among people. But we have to be careful about what we put out there and who we follow. Everybody is not to be followed. Did y'all know that? Everybody is not to be followed, even though they want to be followed. You got people on there saying, follow me and all this kind of stuff. If they asking you to follow them, then you should not follow them. Come on now. You need to have something good to offer if you want me to follow you. Now, I don't know about everybody, but this is how I am. First of all, my physical face is proud. You can't just get on my face. You can't just like, unless I let you be my friend. Amen. Amen. You know what? I don't want everybody getting on my page, putting anything they want on my page and all that kind of crazy stuff. I have people to do crazy stuff like that, and then I take them extra mile and block them. Because you don't come saying all kinds of crazy stuff and want to be on my page. So I'm going to undo you. You don't have to unfollow. I'm going to undo you. You will be blocked out. So we have people that's following a whole lot of things. We, we jumping on the bandwagon a lot of times before we really even understand what well, we jumping on because it's just got a little good sign to it. They put Jesus in there one time. Uh oh. Why are you going to go into that past? You know, you know, you're all this that you loved in the world. And now they make a song and they put Jesus in there one time. They got Jesus in there. They just say Jesus one time. Oh yeah, child, you talk about Jesus. I'm gonna get that because that's your artist. That was your artist in the world. So now you're gonna get it because they say one thing about Jesus and you just wanna spread the word. Child, yeah, because they got a song I talk about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Mm. Yes. They talk about Jesus and what else? Mm. They talk about Jesus and what else? Yeah, I'm going to throw it out there because some of y'all still listening to it more than likely. No matter what we've told you about it, but you still listening to Beyonce. Mm. Mm. Every time I hear that gospel, they, I, I turn it right around. How you gonna do two separate things? You gonna say something about Jesus over here, but then in your video you gonna have something talking about what you did with the Bible and your mentee. Come on here. Therefore, you are defaming God. You are blaspheming against God. I can't represent something like that, and I can't represent a person like that. I don't care how good you be. Son. And I don't care if you get mad either. Go ahead. Uh, Alright. Now, now when you go against the very God that I'm serving. Yes. And there's no way you can say that you represent God and you won't represent somebody that takes the name of your God in vain and do some things like that toward the God that you serve. Uh, I mean, the video is out there and it's not hidden. It's right out there for everybody to see it. We just ignore things like we don't see the truth when the devil is putting the truth right in our faces. But instead of us following after the things that are of God, we're running after people. 
all need money? We all do need money. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says that money is the answer to all things. It is talking about the natural things and not the spiritual things. But the Bible also says, first seek ye the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. He didn't say seek money. Seek the kingdom. Follow after the kingdom. And these things will be added. To you, we're following, we're following, we're following the politics, we're following whatever changes they make in society. Now we're going to bend because society said that it's the way we do it now. If God didn't change that book and they changed from what God said, you don't change. You don't follow. That is our problem. We just follow no matter what. Somebody going in the big old ditches right there. We're going to follow right behind you. See them fall in the ditch. Why are you going to keep walking? What's wrong with us? I watched you fall in the hole just night. And I'm going to keep on walking in the same way. So I can fall in the hole. Something's wrong with that. Why is it if they fell in the hole?
Come on now. You don't believe me. Before you got saved, how long was you doing with your life? Where was you leading yourself? If I'm correct, you was leading yourself to hell. Am I right, Mom? Yes. You were leading yourself to hell, right? So anybody that followed you, you was going to lead them with?
It don't take God a long time to fast to burst you over again anew. And yes, you have to continue to walk along with him to learn the rest of the way. But immediately you'll be brand squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. No sins. A newborn baby walking around in Christ Jesus. People gonna be like, what in the world is wrong with you? What happened to you? Girl, you went to that church? What they do to you up in that church? Man, what the world they do to you up in that church? They don't know what you know. Jesus did. God did. They just told me about what the Lord said. And the Lord called me. And I came running. He called and I came. And I, I came running. I, I, I wanted it. You understand what I'm saying? When I heard And they immediately came and he kept on walking and he found, found, found two more, the sons of Zebedee, James and John. And the Bible said that he also told them to come. And they came and they left immediately. Wait a minute. They left immediately also. They left the ship and their father. Uh-oh. And followed him. Uh-huh. Now Peter and Andrew left next. James and John left the ship that they were in and they left their father behind. Sometimes you're going to have to leave yes. some kid for behind. Yes. Sometimes they're not going to want to go. They're not going to want to be saved. They're not going to want to follow the Lord. But just because they don't want to go and just because they don't want to be saved and just because they don't want to And now you're going to 
portray to Jesus. Oh, yeah. They ain't got nothing else to do. Let me go to Jesus. Let me go to God. Because I don't have nothing else to do. And the devil done had the best of you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And the devil done had the best of you. Think about it. Wouldn't you want to give your support to the person that loves you best? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's God. Wow! Would you give all of your life to the devil to misuse you, to abuse you, to run your life down in the slums? And then for you to almost end up in hell if God don't save you. You understand what I'm saying? Why? I refuse to let Jesus die for my sins. And I'm not giving him the best of my life. My God, I refuse to give the devil that I know is trying to destroy me my life so he can take my life and do whatever he want to do with it to disgrace the name of the devil is alive. Yes, he is. To disgrace the name of my creator. Amen. I would not give the devil the pleasure my and that's what we got to have. I would not give the devil the pleasure to hold me up before my Savior and say, Look at him. Oh, my God. I know that's right. Look at him. You love him. Look at him. Uh uh. The devil is alive. Amen. Yes, he is. I am determined hey, I'll up on to live it to you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going to say
body. Oh, Amen. Amen. Yes. Because the time is going to come when he's going to tell them to go do it. That's right. Yes. 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 That's why you got to pay attention when things are being done. If you follow somebody, you have to pay attention. That's how you learn how to do it. That's right. That's how you learn how to do it. And so Jesus goes to the mountain. He up to the beginning to follow him and his fame is going about it. He's going throughout the city and they began to bring sick people to Jesus. My God. They bring sick people that are taken with diverse diseases, many diseases. Amen. So what are you saying, Pastor? I don't care what kind of disease. God can heal it. Yes, ma'am. The doctor might not have a cure for it, but God is the cure. Amen. Come on, I said the doctor might not have a cure for it, but God is the cure. God is the cure. We've had people in here that had AIDS. Amen. And God Just because I did 
say it don't mean you can do it. Yeah. You don't have faith. Yeah. Right. My God. But what I know is God is able to do that. Yeah. And he healed them. And those that had palsy, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from the Capitals and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond. Jordan. So now all of these people are following Jesus. A call is being made to come follow him. I don't know what your situation is. And you may fit into one of those categories. And I'm going to give you some more. You may be depressed. You may be being oppressed. You may feel like committing suicide. You may have felt like this is the last dish I go to church and I say, well, if that don't work out for me, I won't leave and it's over. Well, I come to tell you that God has met you today. It's just begun. He says, for you to me and not die. It is God's will that you would live and not die. God has good plans for your life. The Lord says, I know the plans that I have concerning you. And they are plans of good and not evil. The devil has evil plans for your life. And you've been following them long enough. Following them long enough. We all were following the devil at one point. But when we heard the call, Today he's calling you. I hope you answer. I really hope you answer the call. I hope you say yes to the Lord. I hope you're not one that's going to say, well, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to think about it. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to talk to my boyfriend. I'm going to talk to my girl. I'm going to talk to my mom. I'm going to talk to my mom. I'm going to talk to my I just read it to you out of this book. And if you have one, yours said the same thing that mine said. I didn't make it up. I didn't write down a fairy tale. I told you what the word of God said. Jesus is calling you to follow him. This is the home to call. He's calling you to follow him. And maybe you was following him and you turned back. But he's calling you again. He's calling you again. And it's time that we make our minds up that we're really going to live for God. We're really going to walk for God. Because God wants people that can help other people. Yeah. And we can't really help somebody if we keep going back to what they're doing. And we got enough power not to do it. Come on now. If I'm going to keep going back to drinking, I ain't going to be able to go tell the alcoholic, look, Jesus can keep you from alcohol because they looking at me. Am I right? Why are you drinking again? When you have the power. We make God look like a liar. It's power in the name of Jesus. It's power in the Holy Ghost. It's power in salvation. It's power.
and we praise God for those of you that's watching us online today. I hope you make your mind up to talk about Jesus, amen. That's the best place that you could possibly follow, amen. Don't even follow yourself, follow Jesus. Do you know what I'm saying? Follow Jesus, amen, and you're going to end up with life and that more abundantly. Amen, amen. This afternoon, we're going to have Bishop Brockington here with us to continue our past morning services. Bishop Brockington will be with us this afternoon. If you are able to make it out, come on and let's serve God together. Amen. Those of you that's not able to join us on Facebook, amen, live, then do just that. Amen. But if you are a solid rock member, amen, you know where you're supposed to be at. And you shouldn't be at home watching it on Facebook unless you're sick. Amen. You should be in the building. Amen. And we're going to have a treat. My granddaughter will be dancing this evening. Amen. Um, that's in the name of the Lord. Amen. For my pre-past for your anniversary as well. So if you want to come out and see that blessing. Amen. That she's going to give unto us this evening. All right, all right. We come out to praise the Lord. I, come, I hope you come with your praise the Lord shoes on and your clap with your hands and dance at your feet. Amen, amen. I don't like to go to church and not have church. I like to have church when I go to church. Hallelujah. I don't care if we went to church every day of the week. We still need to give God the glory. Uh, we're not going every day of the week, but if, if we was, we should be giving God glory, even in your house. Amen. Amen. So remember, we love you all, and we pray that God continue to bless you and know that God loves you best.